they might have oh man look at this this is the highest mythic has to offer Hello everyone, it's Slov here and today we are back with Glorious Dimir. This one is a banger. We have defeated some of the best players in the world with this one and you will be witness to it in today's video. They will be salty and if Dimir can make an aggro meta deck salty that is top 60 in the world, I mean, that's something we are doing right. All right, guys, let's go into games. We'll talk about the deck more in the outro as usually. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you feel that we are doing a good job on this one, spreading the mere glory over the standard. All right, have fun, guys, and enjoy. Fighting for top 200. We are going first with counters, but I cannot say otherwise. I'm happy so far. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I think it's good. I cannot dissipate it. I'm not really sure what I'm playing against. Alright. Uh, Shigeki deck is kinda scary. We probably need deadly cover up. Oh, you wanted it back, huh? Nah. But we need to draw land, man. Like, we need to draw a lot of lands and a lot of cards right now. Man, he is persistent. I will actually play this and go a little bit aggressive. I don't super love this play, but you know, it's not like we have other plays, you know. It will probably die to like two mana instant, but I'll still take it. I'll still take it. Okay. That is interesting. I think he has a lot of value because he's he is a good player and he absolutely doesn't respect his Shigeki. <laughs> I mean absolutely not. So he probably has a lot of stuff. Like he is playing Is that man, is this really the deck? No way. Is that his only Shigeki? Man, I'm pretty slow with identifying this deck, but I think that's the deck. He really wants this one land. All right, we got it. I think it's still good, but he will run, you know, out of cards quite quickly. And I think he feels the pressure from the Flash Gorger. Okay, we got a land. That's good. Gorger, please, get the thing. Get the thing. All right. He did so good. This could be interesting. I'm not sure how it goes, man. I really am not sure. I have one counter spell. And after this counter spell, things go really bad for me. So I really hope is, this could be the timed explosion. Oh, this is this is horrible draw. That's horrible draw. Let's see. I don't think he needs to react for a very long time, but you know, at least we have something going for us. I could play Hidetsugu. This is Memorodurush, right? Don't Memorodurush me. He Memorodurushed me. So we can go for easy counter spell. I think, I really think we go like this, man. This is exile effect and he will have seven mana on the next turn and we probably try to counter this. And I mean, we go from there. I don't know what happens, but <laughs> I will try, man. I will try. Man, I can put the Virtue of Persistence and potentially deal 7. This could be a way. I think they are... Oh no, please stop. I kinda messed up, but I, I kinda had to. Uh, sure, I, I will actually take this. They can have some mana and they will get the Detective, but it's not like we can prevent it really. Like, we would have to pay so much, it's not even remotely worth it. The elf is a huge problem. I mean, this is only two lands, but that's still a lot. They can go for the detective. They risk, they will lose it. To be absolutely fair, I, I probably don't mind it. 
At this point, they probably... Oh, three lands from the top. All right, I think I know what we are doing now. You know what? This is a really nice draw. Nah? No. All right, it's still good. It's still okay. I definitely want this guy. I mean, I can go with the Edict, right? I don't need to play it right now. Man, this is so close and so harsh. By the way, I have noticed that most of like extremely high-ranked people are playing this deck, which is interesting. Oh no, it's a Virtue, right? But I won't be able to make two of those, you know? I can tap his mana. But I don't think it's good. Uh, even though he has six mana, he doesn't have blue mana. He has three red and three green and nothing more. I can absolutely take the hit. I'm not sure what it means. Word sounds right. That's my guess. It will give him four lands. So pretty tempting. And I think he wanted to make me... Yep. And I think he wanted to make me uh, play something to kill Nissa, so he, he was scared about counter spells. You know what? I kind man, I actually like my spot a little bit. I really want to get the last card, man. I really, really do. The problem is that I don't know what to discard. With the mysteries. I've come it has to be the first. edict, right? It has to be the edict. Uh, guys, I don't love it, but I really... Man, I really think it's, it's the correct play. He will have one top deck and nothing else. Nothing else. Let's think about it. This can decide the game. Sorry, bro, I need to think. That's super important. So, uh, because I could go for Edict right now, make sure he has nothing, and then I attack for 3 and 7. That's not lethal. That's not lethal. That isn't lethal. If he has double land, Nessa will give him the detective and that will give him a lot of life again. You know what? I changed my mind. What was the last card? <laughs> that was the lethal. That's how he was supposed to kill me. Let's not mess it up, alright? Listen guys, we are all in. We are just trying to smirk him. He has one draw to win this game. See? He would get the Elf. He would get so much mana. He would play the Elf Detective. He would get all the mana. And right now he has only mana and nothing more. And that's already a lot of damage. And we are going to ultimate. You won't be outsmarting me. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> he has memory delusion. He loves me to, to mew him. He would absolutely just kill for me. Your last play. Alright, you know what? I think we are pretty decent. We just beat top 200 with our cool Demir. If that's not cool, I don't know what is. And he's waiting until I mew him so he can play memory delusion and potentially hit something. Alright, man, I liked it. I'm I'm actually proud. That's that's a good showcase for the deck, I think. All right, all right. Dimir again at the top. All right, we are going first. That can be interesting. I'm really like Malcolm. Normally, Malcolm is you know something you don't really use in control decks, but with Flash you can do so much with this. All right, let's go with it. Uh, we have the Reef. Man, that's like second mono right in a row. Uh, this guy is top 63, so if you want to see how magic looks like, it's just mono red at the top, 
and Boros. <laughs> well, Swift Spear, sure. We have a lot of plays, and two damage isn't a problem. All right, that's interesting. I definitely want to get hit by this. I mean, I could go with Markon. Uh, it could be play with fire. It could be play with fire. I will still kill one of those. Potentially we could even go Liliana, but I'm not really sure. All right, so this is the first decision of the game. So far, everyone was on autoplay basically. So we can go with the Flash Gorger. It might mean I won't hit the Swift Spear with Liliana, but it might not be not be bad. They might have... Oh, man, look at this. This is the highest Mythic has to offer, this guy. He doesn't even try to expect that, you know, anyone can think about playing cards. I thought that at the top of the Mythic it's different, but uh, it's still the same Monoret. They just spam 100 games a day and that's good enough. All right, so do we kill them with Liliana? Liliana will die to some haster, right? We could go Flash Gorger, and they cannot kill at a dancer. I think Flash Gorger is good enough. Even if they play like Godric, uh, they probably still uh, sacrifice the Swiss Spear, so it should. It is kind of the same, right? Whatever creature they get rid of, yeah, sure, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Pump it to oblivion. Show how good at magic you are. Yes, more numbers. Go, more numbers. <laughs> Isn't it hilarious where we are? Uh, however, he might realize that it's not exactly all, you know, rainbows here. Let's get rid of this creature, because it is kind of annoying right now. And look at our Flesh Gorger, just working toward our life's total. Unfortunately, he gets the cheek, so we know that Liliana will die. But, you know, she did something. Cool. More. Pump it. More. <laughs> maybe, maybe you can kill your opponent in time and never try to play magic. That seems to be the idea. Uh, it's super weird they went for this play. I... yeah, okay, okay. That explains it. The last card is the perfect card they wanted. However... Oh, 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 oh. I nearly misplayed. Uh, his life actually matters. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. And now I'm I will discard... Uh, what I will discard? Malcolm can ca uh, can block this. Path of Pearl can kill it. I kind of want Malcolm. It's a little bit risky, to be honest. I also have two loyalty, so he probably needs to hit my face. Let's take our time to make the decision, because I think this guy appreciates a lot of thinking. Uh, this kinda gives us 5 mana on the next turn, right? So I really like it. I really like it. If he draws a card, it might be a problem, but you know, we'll see. Let's play land. And now he kinda needs to invest the damage to Liliana, probably. He didn't do the thing, because he wanted us to plus 1. All right, interesting. Here's the scout. All right. Okay, I think I know. I think I know. So what do you want to sacrifice? That's a lot of dialogue lines. <laughs> All right, good for him. However, this is also a pretty decent draw. And you can see, and all of this is because he tried to be fancy and gave us the chance to untap. Alright, the draw that rules them all. Well, I have a nice feeling about this one. Oh, we just beat top 63 monoret player in the world. And, you know, he, he seems to be exactly like the, all of them. <laughs> oh man, like, at this level it is obvious that you need to think about your decisions, right? And they, they aren't having it. So, you know, defeat for you, my friend. All right, this is an interesting hand. I will take it. It has a little bit of everything. Man, I actually played such insanely cool game against our Ors of Control. And man, it was insane game. And we won. And then I realized that I didn't record. And I was actually sad. <laughs> All right, so we need to make this one super cool as well. 
All right, we're in a decent spot so far. Let's make a double black mana. That means there's no dissipate here and they maybe play something better this way. And we want to use a counter spell anyway. Next turn, Memory Drush, so that's pretty good. Well, a little bit punished, but it's fine. We will go with Memory Drush anyway. Drush. All right, that's it. So Zendikar, this is a good card. They really want a lot of mana. I, well, okay, you got it. I wanted to counter it, but it's not worth, uh, you know, not having memory dirge. And we can still force them to play up until five drop, right? Anything above just gets countered. So I think it's worth it. They also play only two colors. All right, three lands and a sweeper in a non-sweeper matchup. I see, I see. I mean, let's go like this then. Definitely not uh, the most incredible draw of the year. I think this is the time for Mirex. I could play Shorted, but she will die, right? Yeah, I think we want the open mana. A 6 is the magical number because it's your 4 drop plus removal. Boring Clex. This gives him two lands. This is like a heavy ramp deck. Man, it's so we always lack one mana to make our play. Can I get this might in the board? Okay, I think I kinda know. We countered this guy, just because he has entered the battlefield effect and I, I want to keep my opponent low on mana because he ab absolutely needs it, it seems. And let's play our first Shelly of the day, because that lets us uh, kill whatever he plays, and it gives some pressure if he wants to remove her, which probably is the case, that cuts his mana a little bit, and we have more shortages. So we will see, we'll see. I would prefer to have some more card we can encounter spells, uh, I, then I could play a little bit differently. Okay, Stomper is kinda acceptable, right? I think we actually don't mind it. We might deadly cover up at some point. I could also just kill it at the end step and not have... You know what, we have removal in the form of deadly cover up, so let's let's make it easier for us. Plus a 4 damage to the face, no biggie. I mean, this could be a memory dirge turn. And so far he didn't have anything with haste because, you know, he's not playing red. The big sin of standard, not playing haste creatures, red and one drops. I mean, he's down to four cards. We defended really nicely so far. The Vein Reaper. All right, that's fine. That will drain us a little bit, but not the most. And now we can play Memory Dirge. All right, we need some serious value. Edict is great. I think it's Sorinian Edict. Malcolm is also super tempting. This has 5 toughness. Paying 5 is not worth it, I think. Oh, sorry, Malcolm. He would be so great here. But it is what it is. Alright, no priority. That's important. And let's see. Not a bad card. Not a bad card. Still, we will go with Edict, right? He doesn't have protection spells or anything, right? I think I'm trying to think if I can get punished if I do it during his turn. Because he might play more into the board thinking he has the Vein Reaper. Or make maybe some combo. Some push and pull, and I'm a little bit scared that he has push and pull, but so far I didn't see it. It's an edict eff effect, right? Flesh creatures? Not really. Alright, I hope it will be fine. If not, we will learn something. I don't really see any real options. Wow. Wow. That's a card. I see. I see. Well, this can end very badly because we have a lot of good cards. We have a lot of good cards. So you will probably have to deadly cover up. And he might take... So he did Sugu into the bridge. 
or he's he might be using the the strategy you know however we can deadly cover up and get rid of all the breaches from his deck while clearing the board so it might not be over i hope he will take a creature if he takes a plane sucker that might be a problem but he doesn't have one oh he has soren don't take soren maybe he takes flash gorger because it's seven five with a war thank you thank you all right you know what i can see this working for us let's play the land because that uh, allows us to use mirex we don't have any blue cards really, so we should tap as much blue mana as possible. And we evidence. Alright, so what do we get rid of? Um, he won't have bridged the multiverse right anymore. I think we go like this. It's the safe way to go about it. We will take a lot of damage unfortunately, but it is what it is. Um, Vein Reaper. So we get... 8 damage in the board, so Vayne Reaper is instantly fun, but so is kind of the bridge the multiverse, right? And we can life gain a little bit, so it's better. Out. Ha. Ha. Alright. Do you want to copy his deck? If you want, here you go. Uh, we will get some value out of the out of this game because I have a lingering feeling I know how it ends. A lingering feeling. He has the mana, right? But you know what? Maybe we have enough toughness to survive. We actually might have enough. Well. That's a nice cutdown target, isn't it? I bring my own army. The Painland can be pretty pretty rough here. But he cannot kill Charlotte. He needs to fight. He needs to trade against it. It's unfortunate he has all those cutdowns uh, against our vampires, but it's fine. So this is, what, 3 damage. 3 is not 5. That's what I learned during my life. My whole education got me to this point. 3 is not 5. That also means I can use the pain land one more time. I mean, we have a lot of value, but we need to survive, man. <laughs> we need to survive. He knows about Liliana's so unfortunately, he knows he has to attack. I would love him to wait one turn. Alright. We, we got rid of one of the super annoying big thing. Oh my god, are we really going for this? I think we... Oh my god. We could also play Virtue and just roll the dice that we won't die in one turn. Alright guys, we need to think. We can win this game. I know we can win this game. So the three cards, Vein Repair, Rex and Brit is already out of the game. Nessa is annoying, but maybe we can deal with her somehow. If I play this, I'm, I fear that I will just die to the top deck. If I go deadly cover up, I get rid of this permanently. This is so tempting, and I also get the vampire going. It seems so good. I will go with Mirex, I don't think we'll use it really. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go for the Flash Gorger this time, to make it easier for us. I hope he has more than one. Oh my god, I didn't check it. <laughs> you guys probably knew before me, but I just don't pay too much attention when I lo I'm looking at those. So that was a kinda a whiff, right? One Vein Reaper. Okay, okay, okay. What do you do? I have no idea. Alright, let's go for the Vampire and go for the Memory Dush at the end step. You can deal with my servant. I'm busy. If he uses Cut Down, that means whatever card he will draw, he has to discard it. It's good for him, but also pretty good for us. Alright. 
It's all in the top decks, guys. We have this game if he doesn't draw any of his like seven, eight drops. And even if he does, only if some of them do. Probably Nissa is the worst one right now, and Raska. Okay. That's scary because he knows this dice. So he has something together with it. Man, you just named the card and they have it. Are you serious? Alright. Alright. Maybe we can work it out. But this is kinda annoying, man. <laughs> this is kinda annoying. He will keep the card. Uh, let's see. That's a land, right? He has the stop. I'm not sure. Oh, that's probably fair. Man, I will die to poison soon. Alright, let's play the memory douche and finally get something. Alright. I need to think this through. So I need to kill Raska. I will use Virtue of Persistence on this. I probably won't double counter spell to be absolutely honest. How do I kill Raska? I don't know. I don't know man. Probably with this. It will be so much mana. Okay, a land is good. That's good draw. I can... Well, let's start with this one, shall we? The problem is that I want to do so many things on this turn. I will be super low on mana. I can only take land, basically. Okay, let's take a land. That's good. That's nice. Not a big deal, but a nice one. I will probably be one mana short, won't I? Oh, no. I think I can do it. Right? Man, this is this is okay. I don't love it, but I need him to whiff for a, for a moment here. Like, at some point, please, please whiff. Uh, do I want to... I will mill him. Okay, one arena, one Shelly. He has two arenas and one shorted. So, maybe I can kill on the next turn uh, Raska, but it's, it's not great. And the poison is kind of annoying as well. That means that, well, the, there's no Tyranax. Alright, I think this is the counter spell, right? We need to fight for the tempo super hard. He knows about Liliana, that's interesting. But I think he wants to tax the mana a little bit. I need to counter it. I cannot risk that he just passes the turn and I did nothing. Alright. And we have another counter spell for a removal that he will probably have in his filthy little hand. Let's take the card. Even if we don't take it, we make a vampire on the next. It's not nothing, but listen. This is not a good idea to go to... Oh no, he, he has Cottage. I just realized. No way he drew this as well. That, I didn't see it. Are you serious right now? Dire times call for dire this is really times. bad, guys. This is really bad because I need to play... Well, we need to play Hidetsugu right now. That means we have to tap out fully for Reef. Man, this guy... Man, they actually draw so well. Every time I make a strategy and I need him exactly to not do the thing. And he's just drawing the thing from the top. Uh, if, Even though I have a counter spell, it might be super bad if he goes for removal. I need to kill her. I need to kill her. That was his draw. Even if he drew it one turn later, he would lose the game. But he drew it now. And that, that is the one thing keeping him in the game since three turns. One problem solved, but only one of them. I don't have instant removal, I have to play this, and it has to work. To be absolutely fair, I should minus to Sorin. I didn't say it when, when I made this decision. So I might lose the game instantly right now. How do you work? Do, you, do I lose the card? You may cast it. I think I don't want this. Make this appear is probably long overdue, right? 
I don't really want any of those cards to be honest. All right, it's all in the draws, guys. I can, if I can survive this one turn, I'm fine. But he needs to not draw a removal. Just name the card, man. Just name the card. He just will draw it. All right, guys. I made few blunders, uh, but to be honest, I don't feel like we should be losing this one. But I could definitely play it better. I could make a vampire here that would protect me, and I wouldn't lose the game right now. I could also check the library before deadly cover up, and I could uh, exile, for example. I wouldn't go for Raska. It should be Nessa probably. But you know, I could play it better. But still, nice draws. All right, guys. After I, I was thinking about the last game, that the one that you have seen just a moment ago, and man. Uh, even though I made few mistakes, I still honestly think we should win this. Like the amount of value he was drawing. The point is that we were the guy with memory Drush and Sorin. How we got out top decked by a guy with a one card to turn and you know extracting the main card from his deck is kind of insane. He drew the Raska at exactly the last possible turn. If he drew it one turn later, she would do nothing. But I just needed one turn of briefer so I can fully stabilize and get advantage of my, you know, all the card advantage or the stuff I can anta prepare with counter spells. And I, that would seal the deal instantly. However, I made a lot of mistakes in this game. So, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I would win this anyway if I played better. But yeah, it shouldn't be so hard. So, you know, I wanted to give you a, you know, a cool disclaimer on this one. So you know what, what happened there. So what about this deck? It seems to be pretty nice, man. I It's, it's very hard to make a functioning Demir that, you know, uh, is fighting against all the meta decks and this one seems to have a lot of tools. Uh, let's talk through them. Uh, Flash Gorger, we played four of them. Man, I wanted to remove the fourth copy so many times to make some cool different play and every time I was like no this is the backbone of the whole strategy this is your tree drop that protects you against all the aggro decks and combined with Sorin shouldered you have so much life gain and so much bulkiness in the board that they generally cannot kill you you have seen the mono red player just hopelessly scooping because flesh gorger just absolutely raised them and how do I know well, I was playing aggro decks and I know that when I saw Flash Gorger, I wanted to scoop instantly because the card is insane. They need a lightning strike and even if they have it, they still need to waste the full turn just killing it most of the time. So we still get a little bit ahead, you know, in a way. Uh, but if they cannot answer it, you can just keep attacking and attacking and every time you lifelink, they are further and further from the victory. Especially combined with Charlotte. This is one of the second uh, like ideas for the deck. Normally when you play control deck, you don't really play creatures because then you give them a target for the removal, right? Here you have quite a lot of creatures, Markon. Flesh Gorger, Shouldered, and Hidetsugu. Nearly all of the creatures do something bad to your opponent, you know, when they die. Maybe not Malcolm, but this is like a bait. And also, the reason we are going with the Malcolm here is Flesh. You don't, it's not like your opponent cannot remove it. He can every single time, but you play it in a way that he doesn't want to because that will cost him full turn. So you kind of move your end step into nullifying his main phase. That can give you a lot of tempo advantage and with this kind of value, you are fine with losing a little bit of value if that gives you an extra turn. And you have seen that, oh no, you haven't because that was the game that wasn't recorded. Well, the Malcolm did a lot of work in the Ors of Life Gain game that you didn't see, but it was super awesome and it got us to Path of Peril faster uh, which won us the game. I There were two bats that got Path of Pearl and Deadly Cover Up and I had no sweepers. And then I drew Path of Pearl thanks to Malcolm. So yeah, that, that was really fun. And yeah, yeah, you have quite a lot of creatures. To be absolutely honest, guys, Hidatsugu and Kairi, like it feels like a best fit because it's Demir. It's uh, exactly in the curve when we don't have like big targets. So it felt like perfect, but... I don't know. It's probably the creature I like the least. Malcolm, Flash Gorger, and Charlotte all really nicely performed. Hidatsugu was like always, hmm, okay. 
So maybe this is something to consider, especially that you can play Flesh Gorgers at 7 mana, so it's not like you don't have big creatures in this deck. Other than this, I think this is a pretty smooth control that, uh, you know, is a little bit more entertaining because you have those cool creatures with cool abilities. Uh, you still have Planeswalker, so yeah, Liliana Sorin still here, still here. And uh, you have also this control package of, you know, Counter Spurs, Memory de Rouge, so it gives you a lot of control over the game, more than usually the Demir has. So I kind of like this, especially that with the mirror you cannot really kill those enchantments, artifacts, you don't have farewell, you have some troubles exiling the graveyard, you use deadly cover up for it, but it's, you know, it's not farewell. Uh, so most of the time you kind of want to finish the game in reasonable amount of time. Uh, so that's why Flesh Gorger and uh, Shorded are so good. Don't forget, the word from Flesh Gorger, normally when you play control it doesn't matter. Here it matters. Not only you have a lot of creatures that hit their face, but you also have Shorded that pressures their they life total every time. If they killed two Flesh Gorgers, that's three turns less. And suddenly they are in lethal range when they need to think about, you know, protecting against Shorded attacks. Uh, because they that would get them so low they die. And also you can Sorin for minus 13, uh, or minus 7 and deal 13 damage. So those damage kind of stuck very nicely. I really enjoyed this deck. I think it was cool. We defeated w some of the best players in the in the world with this one, so I think it proved its point. And it's Demir, so yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm so sad you didn't see this one game, man. It was it was a really cool game. Basically, we Path of Pearl everything. They went all in with double bat, hoping we cannot sweep them. And, well, we could. We could. It was glorious. They scooped after it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you enjoy the content. And yeah, thank you for being so supportive. As always, pleasure to share this deck with you and see you tomorrow.